the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, I welcome you to this joyful day in the life of this couple. You are here for a reason. You have been invited, yes, and you have had a role in the life of either, of either Don Tremaine or Maya Lynn, but you also are here to witness them coming together in a unique way at this altar. And so you're here not just to watch. You're here to lift them up in prayer. You have had a role in this couple's life, and you have had a part in the journey that is culminating and starting new today. And so you come here to witness this love, to thank God for this love, but also to lift them up in prayer. Dear friends, if it takes a village to raise a child, well, the same thing has to be true of a marriage, that we need that support around us. A marriage does not exist by itself. That's why it's public and everyone's invited, because we need we need that grace and prayers to, to help us to live the love that God calls us to. And so Don and Maya, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends as today in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. And so I pray over you. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness pour out your grace on these, your servants, Don and Maya, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At this time, brothers and sisters, I invite you all to please be seated. I invite the wedding party to take your pews. Various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals. But none proved to be a suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man. And while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one, at last, is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Be to God. The responsorial psalm is, the Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. <coughs> the Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. But the kindness of the Lord is from eternity, to eternity toward those who fear him and his justice toward his children's children, among those who keep his covenant. The Lord is kind and merciful. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you 
a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not complaining, it is not smooth, it does not seek its own interest, it is not great temper. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. There was a wedding in Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine without knowing where it came from, although the servants who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs in Cana and Galilee, and so revealed his glory and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I invite you all to please be seated. My name is Father Matthew McCaughey. And on behalf of, of Don and Maya, I welcome everyone here, family and friends, to St. James Catholic Church. Um, those of you who traveled from afar, those of you who um, are in town, those of you from other Christian churches or other faiths, know that you're welcome here for this celebration. And this is a beautiful chance for us to gather together around this couple. As I mentioned, you're here for a reason. You've had a role, and, and I invite you again just to lift them up in prayer and thanksgiving for them. Now, every couple is unique, right? We know that. Um, and I can't help but just think how memorable a couple I've had a chance to meet in Don and Maya. We, we met o over a year ago in um, my office just to kind of help them journey in this last stage. And I can tell you, when I first met Don, he made an impression on me and just in terms of his, his cool and collected manner, y'all. I, I can't imagine anything kind of shakes him or unsettles him. And I tell you, Don, I've never seen a groom as relaxed, and I've never seen a groom directing traffic up here. So I tell you, <laughs> this is a unique couple. This is a unique couple. But I'll tell you something else about Maya, that it's not unusual for a bride to kind of take care of all the details. I think what's different about Maya is she takes care of so many of these details Everything, every little thing, when we were prepping, you know, she would go over the program every to the last detail. I, I really, I appreciated that. 
I appreciate that. You know, I was like, oh, good. I, I don't have to take care of this. She ran with it. She ran with it. That's good. That's good. But they're also unique in terms of how they got here. When I asked them, you know, tell me about your relationship in a few words. Well, Maya said, she said, when we met each other, everything fell into place. Whatever had been missing was suddenly found. We are complete. So I appreciate, I appreciate Maya's words and just reflecting on, you know, what it means, how special this moment is. When, when Don reflected on the relationship, he said, well, when I, when I met them in 2018, he said, seven years of growth, and, you know, I was waiting for her to catch up a little bit. <laughs> so I love the different perspectives that, you know, Maya's saying everything's good, and, and Don's saying we're, we're, we're working on it, we're growing. That's good. That's good. Because both is kind of true, right? That God has brought you together, in a, and you, you have something really awesome here. But God, yeah, he wants to grow you. So I just want to share just, you know, what, what the Lord wants to say in these readings that y'all chose. I love these readings. These are some of my favorite, you know. If you want a good homily, um, you pick good readings, all right? So thank y'all. Thank y'all for picking these good readings. I love this story from Genesis because each of these readings, God wants to tell you something about the love he wants for you. I love this reading from Genesis, y'all. We're so blessed to have this in our faith and to read it and just to hear what the Lord wants to say that from the very beginning, God had love on his mind. That in this creation story, when man is created, that's the first time the Lord says, it is not good. It is not good for the man to be alone. It is not good for you to be alone. We were made for community. And notice, the first community God made, it wasn't something like a, um, a fraternity, a sorority, a football team. God could have made any number of managed a community. The first community God made was husband and wife. And the first words, all these firsts, the first words that the man spoke is love, a love poem. This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this was, has been taken. So God wants you to have a love that's from the heart. God wants you to have a love that brings you together. And God wants you to have this love that is just, that is just joyful and praise as Adam praised the Lord for the gift of his wife. And from the second reading, I love this. That God wants you to have a love that can weather the storms. We don't think of that. That this is weather-worn love that we hear in 1 Corinthians. This is weather, this is bedrock love right here. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It is not quick-tempered. We've heard this before. But to, to, to hear it here, it's God saying I want you to have a love that can weather the storm because this isn't puppy love right here. This isn't the love of high school romance. This is a love that, that is built over time, blood, sweat, tears, forgiveness, day by day, choosing to love each other. God wants you to have a love that can stand the test of time. But then in this gospel, I love this gospel. We have, again, Jesus. He, he's entering into a marriage scene just like he wants to enter into your married life. He entered into that marriage scene. And what does Jesus bring? He brings wine in abundance. That is, that's a sign of life. That's a sign of grace. God doesn't just want for you a love from the heart, a love that can stand the test of time. He wants you to have love in abundance. 160 gallons of wine. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's the kind of love God wants for you, a love in abundance. So we gather today to thank God for this couple, this, this couple that um, is a blessing to so many here, and we pray that they will be, be a blessing because the world is longing for God's love, and that's why you're here, not just for each other, but to show God's love, to show God's love. So we pray that Maya and Don, y'all may be strengthened in his love. 
And we pray that you may receive just that fullness and abundance of the Lord's love this day. together in the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds him. Through a special sacrament he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by baptism that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church I ask you to state your intentions. Don and Maya, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. I have. Are you prepared, as you follow the path of marriage, to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I, I will. <laughs> Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? I will. We will. Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, I invite you to turn to each other, yeah. to join your hands, and to declare your consent before God and His church. Well, so again, you're going to repeat after me. Mm -hmm. I, Don, take you Maya. I, Don, take you Maya. For my lawful wife. For my lawful wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poor. For richer for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I Maya take you down. I Maya take you down. For my lawful husband. For my lawful husband. Mm. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. Hmm. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church. May the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God who joined together our first parents in paradise, strengthen and bless in Christ this consent you have declared, so that what God joins together, no one may put asunder. This part of the ceremony, you all have a chance to lift praise to God. I'm going to say, let us bless the Lord. I invite you all to respond, thanks be to God. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of the rings.
Go to Mona. Yeah. Go to the altar. I'll put it on now. Lord God, you have given these rings as a sign of the bedrock of love that you wish to build in the life of this couple. That Lord, as these rings may endure through the wear and tear of daily life, so Lord, may the love of this couple endure through whatever trials may come and may they see in this ring a sign of the other's commitment as they give them to each other. May God bless these rings. In your holy name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Maya, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Don received this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, you all have witnessed this couple declare their love. We now have a chance to respond to this declaration in prayer. So I invite you all to please stand as we will now have our prayers of the faithful. For the church throughout the world, may our faith in the love of God has for us be expressed in our love for one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in our world, may all lands that suffer violence and injustice, find peace and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the poor, the homeless, and for those who are unemployed, may our care and concern for those in need be a sign of God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the protection and sanctity of human life, from conception until natural death. May all people be treated with the dignity they deserve as God's children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those preparing for the sacrament of marriage, may they grow in wisdom and grace and see their vocation to married life as a sign of God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For Don and Maya, who begin their married life together this day, may they experience the love of God, the support of family and friends, and the blessings of children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who have died, especially the relatives and friends of Don and Maya, and all present for this wedding. May they enjoy perfect happiness and total fulfillment in eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord God, in lifting up these prayers to you, Lord, we place all these needs in your hands. Lord, we also place this couple in your hands that as you have blessed them this day, you may bless them all their days. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you all to remain standing as we bring over um, a kneeler so we will have the signing of the, the wedding license right here. The 
thought I lost the pin, y'all. <laughs> okay. Good. So we're gonna do one at a time. So, um, so my, you're gonna sign right there, and you're gonna sign right there. Okay. Boom. Oh, okay. Sign, you sign right there. So Don, you're gonna sign right there, and you're gonna sign right there. man to sign and you're gonna sign This time, I invite everyone to please be seated. We will now have a special presentation of flowers for the mothers of this couple. Mindful that moms play a very important role in nurturing the love of a man and of a woman, who are also mindful of Jesus' mm -hmm. mom. We pay honor to Mary because she herself says, all generations will call me blessed. She's inspired by the Holy Spirit. We also honor Mary because we imitate Jesus. Jesus honored his father and mother and we're called to imitate Jesus. So this couple will show a small honor to our mother Mary, but also to their moms as well with roses. Both of them? Okay. Okay, one, two, three. You gotta keep them separated. One, two, three. So this is for the mirror. Okay. Uh -oh. You got it. Thank you. All right. We want to marry first. Okay. Mm. Mm. Hold up. Hold up. All right. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. All right. <laughs> what you laughing? You got? Yep. What about?
Now let us humbly invoke God's blessing upon this bride and groom, that in his kindness he may favor with his help those on whom he has bestowed the sacrament of matrimony. My Adon and Don, I offer this prayer as a reminder that you are continuing that love that began in the Garden of Eden. You are continuing in that love that that brought forth life in, 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 in between the patriarchs and the, and the life of God's family. And so I offer you a biblical prayer of blessing, reminding you that you will begin a journey that's been journeyed by our forebears, mothers, our parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, and all those. God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your image making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to, do, to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ in his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man, and the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants, joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts, that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace Abide in your daughter, Maya, and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in Scripture. May her husband entrust his heart to her, so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, God, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments made one in the flesh. May they be blameless in all they do, and with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children, and grant that, reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 I invite you all to please stand. Mindful the Lord has brought us together as a family of faith, let us now pray the prayer that our Lord Jesus Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, all and, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you who gathered here in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Brothers and sisters, it is with joy and great pleasure that I have the chance to introduce to you to the first time. <laughs> Husband and wife, oh, yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Don Tremaine Aikens. You may kiss the back. <laughs> Thank you. That's it?
say what? <laughs> you alright? Oh, I'm sorry. Get all this lip Take the picture. Do it again. <laughs> oh, I hear you. <laughs> Go on first. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold on, mate. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Appreciate it. What's happening, man? What's happening? Thank you.